Starting with football, Africa's number one team lived up to that tag on Monday night. Algeria defeated South Africa 3-1 in the team's opening AFCON encounter. Algeria had a slight scare after being a goal down. Bafana soon after missed a penalty. That sparked the Algerians into action as they went on to win by three goals to one. Senegal surprised many on Monday beating African giants Ghana 2-1. Despite the win, their coach believes they still have a long way to go. It is always better to take the three points, but that doesn't guarantee us of qualifying. We still have two games to play. Tunisia's Football Federation have lodged an official complaint to footballing body CAF over the penalty awarded against them during the one-all draw with Cape Verde. They are unhappy at the Gabonese referee for awarding the penalty. They've also complained about the host's hotel facilities. Ivory Coast and Cameroon are set to play their first games against Guinea and Mali respectively. But something seems to be missing from both teams. Talismanic strikers Didier Drogba and Samuel Etu are not playing. Some believe the rivalry between the pair are similar to that of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Their absence will be particularly missed when the two African giants clash on January the 28th. And finally, Janil de Villiers is home after a grueling two weeks of racing through the wilds of South America at the Dakar Rally. The most positive thing is the fact that we were able to challenge for the lead. And uh, we were able to challenge for uh, nine days with Nasser. Uh, we were very close. You know, it could have gone either way at that point in time. We might have... We tried something on day 10, we uh, it didn't quite work out, we lost 15 minutes, but you know, that's the race. I mean, at least we uh, we tried. De Villiers came second to Nasser Al-Atiyah at this year's rally.